Yes. Money. <laughs> 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 yeah. Mine still smells like putrid sewers. It's been several months. It I'm still sure, smells I'm like sure your waste smoothies. packet, your waste basket probably hasn't been changed and it's <laughs> that <Exactly. laughs> made me. Oh, huh. <laughs> There it is. Oh, I should bring the damn Clyde mini down here because I have the I have the dice guardian that he does. Damn it! I gotta paint it. I can find it. What? Where the hell did he go? We just let Carol talk and we're going to be Who good. Who knows? Get back to yeah, something, something happened there. Uh, if you are looking for Matt at 333, go to Twitter and click the link. Don't actually look it in your Google search. You what? will get some unexpected things. <laughs> it is Matt at 333. But I like... honestly was not expecting anything. Go to Twitter. Yeah, click the link. Don't Google search and it. Yeah, M -A -D I don't want to talk about it anymore. M-A-D-T-H 333 is his Twitter handle. I just looked it up. <laughs> Oh, and we pray Wait. that David comes back. <laughs> oh. Hi, everyone. My name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commission mini painter who just started their own twi uh, Twitch stream under Muses underscore touch. Uh, I stream on Saturday afternoons. The, all times are Eastern and all, and all PM. Saturday afternoons at 1230. Monday evenings, it's seven o'clock and Wednesdays. So that'd be tomorrow at 830. And I stream for about two hours. Join those because I also get on to her. He does me. once in a while. You don't get on that often to harass me, though. You once, need to you need week. to get you need to bug me, bust my chops more once a week. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey everybody, I am Kyle. I am the DM of Cred, Cred. every other Thursday nights. Uh, Cthulhu rises, everybody dies. I feel like I haven't actually said it in a long time. I just say Cred now because uh, we. I am full of Cred. It's fun to uh, say Cred. It is fun to say Cred. Uh, it is absolutely fun to say Cred. I've got to watch myself because I have been slowly losing my mind over the course of the summer. Uh, summer's end is in sight. Children go back to school and I don't have to work as hard. Uh, <laughs> so as long as I can keep going from here on out, I am good to go. Uh, I don't have another Twitch thing that I do because I'm 100% here for the Murder oh, Hobo. Oh, Lord. So excited for that Murder Hobo Con coming I on know. this oh, Sunday. You know what else there'll be a Murder Hobo Con? We were just Ooh. talking about there'll be a seminar room full of mini painting goodness. So there's going to be a mini painting smackdown between. Oh, plenty of people seem to give a shit about mini painting. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to compete. So you don't get to see my garage full of mini painting goodness. You have no mini painting goodness. I have lots of things. I got my baby powder sprayer over here that I hose down my mini. It's an actual thing. Baby powder is an abrasive. It's a very light abrasive, very fine abrasive, but it makes the paint hang on just a little bit easier if you hose them down first, in my opinion. Wow, I never heard that one. Well, you're talking about the, the well where I keep my ex-wives. <laughs> ex? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, what the hell before happened? she gets started, before yeah, she no, gets go started, ahead. Go ahead. I, uh, in all seriousness, after last creds, I got a lot of uh, uh, tweets directed at me for how I portrayed one of the NPCs. I know Frank himself got a lot of angry emails he was telling me about. He just throws them into the trash. Um, I just want to say what uh, which uh, that NPC? Zeb was incredibly drunk and Zeb is his own character and has nothing to do with me and my sexist uh, views. What the that hell is are all. you? Wait, wait, wait. All right, Carol, go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. What? Was this, are you joking or is this for reals? I am always serious, Carol. No, you're always. not, but that's beside always. the point. That's how I get the fear going on. Okay, right? so... Uh, David just posted in chat saying, oh, sorry about that. We lost it. And Frank, you're muted. I hear you here, but maybe you're muted. No, I got muted uh, when I corrected everything else. Oh, so you're no longer muted. So people can hear you now? Great. Yes. They, they heard me to start. Once I started fixing your cameras, I had to shift it over again, and that always mutes it. So you didn't miss anything important. I'm yeah, no, it's just him talking. Uh, anyways uh what what the hell happened on the episode let's see uh, I, I remember i, it, so. I remember we... I, I did too i think <laughs> <laughs> I, I wrote notes for this one too but i don't know where they went to be honest oh uh, i was an info dump over that much uh basically we were down <laughs> poor ernie <laughs> we were down... oh my god yes yes so to start with we were down two players uh i've to start with Caitlin came in midway through. Bran, Bran is stuck at the doctor's office uh, because his player was busy, was down in Florida, and things just didn't work out for him to get online. There was a Florida <coughs> man involved. We don't like to talk about it. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Well, he's home now, so the next se session he'll be. Are we doing a recap, or are we just? I am. I, well, it is about. It is part of the recap, but we're, we're we had two missing players, ah. Uh, so it ended up becoming said like an info dump. Now, what was so funny was the fact that the info got dumped on myself more than Ernie, <laughs> and Ernie got locked up. I think even uh, uh, Cleo got some too. Uh, Cleo right? showed up Cleo an hour and something late. And she got more goodies than Ernie did. And Ernie is poor Riley, who has been Riley, trying to dig up every secret. Riley, yeah, Riley's whole thing about the spy expedition is learning knowledge, is learning stuff, you know, whatever. 
and he got almost nothing. So basically off screen, we're going to be probably telling him everything that happened. Uh, so what the hell I said? What, oh my God. Carol's you brain is spoke gone. What the with hell did Zachariah, it? who was That's right, the, the bartender. The at, Southern bartender. Who knew Anja's name before she told him, but apparently he just knew because because the info got to him. Yeah, He's a bartender. He knows things, right? Too. Yeah. 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 I had some terrible inside checks. He is, uh, the player <laughs> thinks he's, this whole situation is sketchy as fuck. And he's probably somehow maybe tied into her past. It just, it just, the way the whole interaction went, it was very strange. Um, I, I suggest watch it and see how, it, come up with your own opinion. Watch it and see if you didn't watch it. Here he comes. Hey. Damn it. <laughs> now here and all the cameras go poof. As long as mine's the first one and the correct one, I don't care. You and I are uh, fine, Carol. Yes. Am I gonna switch to David? All right. All right just so, <laughs> yeah. so anyways, um well let's see. Uh Thanks. so we Thanks, yeah, I said it, <laughs> it was yeah, mo it was mostly an info dump for a lot of things, except for when we got towards the end. I'm going to gloss over all that. If you want to add anything, Kyle, please do, because I'm leaving out a lot of stuff here. Spoke with the um, bartender who gave you a bunch of information. Yeah, uh, but Riley. we don't. But as but he was so sketchy as for the validity of that information. Yes, the validity of the information. We don't know. Sketchy. Uh, Riley found some books. No, he studied some books He's, that he already he, yeah, had. Yeah, the books he already had. Mm hmm. Uh, and... Digging up more background information on one Mundo Fend. Cleo was in search of power and was unable to find magic items. However, she was told that if she went to the cemetery, that at a certain time put some money in that she could get some powers uh, trade. Uh, after that, you, Riley, I... ran no. into the dead sailor. Yep, ran into it. So then things started getting interesting. So... Well, actually, the, the Lord was dump interesting. wasn't interesting. No, the Lord dump actually was very interesting, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Uh, yeah, yeah no, but that. that's when things, but I like things that kind of get sketchy, interesting. So it was, the Lord dump was sketchy, too. Well, so the Lord ran... dump, I think, made Scott look for chickens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Wow. So we, we ran into, yeah, a sailor <laughs> died, I believe, by hitting his head, falling and hitting his head on the, the sidewalk. Or the ground, and um, in this town, basically, they claim all dead people, and they bury them, bury them in the cemetery. However, when you go to the cemetery, there's only like thirty headstones and seven mausoleums for a town this size. Yeah, that's not sketchy either. So I'm fully convinced something sketchy is going on in that graveyard. Uh, yeah. You know, oh, I think Ernie also tr talked to the um, the other religious faction too. By the way, yes, the, um, talked lady to the, priests of, the priest of light. That's right. Um, so, so it said, there's a lot of sketchy crap going on in this town for sure. Uh, Anja's definitely like on her guard. Uh, but basically, she watched them bring the body into mausoleum and leave, and she didn't have the guts to go up and actually go into the mausoleum to check it out. She suspected, because they knocked on the door when they when they went. So she suspected somebody was in there. So probably not a great time to go you know, skulking around. And then when she went to leave, somebody had been sent to summon the party to be questioned. That this is this this is where they really took an interesting, interesting turn. Spoiler alert, uh, it's Jesus. <laughs> so, Jesus. so basically, so she started asking him questions about the graveyard and the size and how it's all very strange. And he was obviously pleased to her because I think I made an insight check at that point was very elusive and he was not answering her. So there's definitely a lot more going on in this town. There'll be fascinating to flip and dig it up uh, find, you know, to dig up whatever the hell the mystery is in this town 
dig up what's going on in the oh, cemetery. The whole town. I mean, I think it's it's a lot more than oh, just well, the well. town. I mean, the whole religious thing too. We're, I think we're going to start a religious war and leave. You know, basically, Bran will sweep in with the Raven Queen and <clears throat> turn the whole town into the followers of the Raven Queen. <laughs> That's my theory of what's going to happen. No, I I kid. It may happen. <laughs> But uh, but so we but basically we all got hauled down there and we were questioned because all of our former crewmates are, are, are on the ship that we came in on disappeared and they thought they had just escaped. But it looks like maybe something dug its way up because we saw this the tilled earth as, as Kyle was calling it and maybe grabbed them, pulled them down and buried you know, push the dirt back in place. Like, I mean, that's what it appears to be. That's when that, that's the truth. I think when next session we're planning on trying to dig down there or start exploring the lava tubes because there are lava tubes under the city. Makes sense. We're on the side of a volcano. So you guys are fucking morons. <laughs> yeah, poor poor Zeb, the wonderful oh yeah he is yeah he was an a, yeah he was an asshole but i got i hope people really weren't tweeting you because he was just an asshole npc he's like one of frank's one of no. frank's many many asshole npcs no i feel like i should have gotten more in character and drank some alcohol to really sell it i mean Basically, Anja was we just Anja was to ign- alcohol to watch. So, yeah. Anja <laughs> so, Anja yeah. was ignoring me, and as as you know, a lady on the cast. Honestly, I know the difference between a reality and and this and bullshit. And this that character is just bullshit. Your insight checks say otherwise. Kyle yeah, is we, an we've, awesome we've seen person. You play. That's not going to happen, folks. That one is still on twitch and it's also in the archive it's also uh, audio only if you don't want to look at these well it's those i two. think these I are am missing my glorious mutton chops now so i understand if you want to go to an audio only podcast i would go to the audio only uh what you need to go is you need to get the scent of victory and you can only achieve that through the calamity campaign david what us, uh, bullshit what big, big there's news bullshit there's time. victory and calamity there is victory and cal- there's there's a knowledge not, not a dump but <laughs> yeah, something broke oh yeah something broke so yeah what didn't happen in calamity uh so yeah, we picked up right where we left off all these weeks later. <laughs> so <laughs> no, seriously. Uh yeah, it was just right after uh our previous battle with uh the ghost. And uh yeah, we're picking up from there. Uh Zari's sister uh has been exercised and um yeah, so we're still trying to come to grips with all that. We wiped out a couple of group back from the previous episode. We have one, put the beat down on him. Uh, Dave broke his leg, snapped it like a twig. And wow. Yeah. Hey, okay hey, Torturing hey. is okay and calamity. <laughs> Oh wow! I know. That's we got Apparently some books. with you guys, man. Previous episode, we got some books. We can't read, but we're trying to use these books. And Rick here, who are way of the long death <laughs> monk, uh, yeah, has become you know, a, you know, profoundly, a yeah, <laughs> profoundly. <laughs> Uh, interested in the contents of the books and wanted to try to save this Grubeck's leg because he would be value to us, be of value to us. And yeah, it didn't work out that way. So hey, at least the leg. Ingve Ingve was suggesting mercy, you know, showing that we are better than them. Plus, we could use them for an information and all that. Yeah, they went around along with that after. Yeah, pretty much torturing this guy trying to fix his leg. So, oh you my know, gosh. hey, at least you left it attached. You know, yeah, uh, you're gonna be missing it. <laughs> it's not at the saying, right angle. <laughs> no, no, it's not at the right angle. We didn't. No, didn't we set it? Didn't we reset it? Didn't we? 
Yeah, we said it. We said it. We you set said the leg. Wrong. Oh, oh we said it wrong. Was oh, it was wrong with shit. So oh it is my god. Backwards. Way oh, to go. Way to go. You think our dice rolls suck? And we thought this guy was gonna Fred. run away from us. Jesus. All right. So anyway. No. Ingve ends up uh, healing the guy because otherwise he was going to bleed to death and we still wanted information out of this person. So, uh, yeah, so where we pick off where there's three buildings outside the main library, which is still on fire. Uh, so we're seeking shelter and all that. Time is waning. The day is waning. You know, we need to hunker down somewhere for a night. So we have three buildings to explore. So, and in addition to that, we had, we needed food, we needed water. So we split up various tasks. Uh, members of uh, the survivors were gathering water and things <coughs> like that. Azari, Dave, and Peck Peck were on the hunt to try to find food. And yeah, they ended killed up a, in the- Killed a violent animal this time. Yeah, killed a violent peacock and also- A violent peacock. You ever oh, yeah. mess with peacocks, man? You would call a hit out on a peacock. You would. Yeah, <laughs> live the, next the, to one. The eyes, the description of the eyes on the back feathers yeah. really threw them. I thought something, yeah. I was oh, just like, like, did you this, think they were real creature? eyes? Yeah. Did you think they were real eyes or something? The way Frank described them was that they flashed, you know, and we were just like, you know, what the, the hell's fuck? happening? Is this going to be like a strobe effect or something like that that's going to, you know, stun them or whatever? But anyway, yeah, it turns out it was a peacock. And then after that, the guys end up in the Longhorn State. So <laughs> killing one of those. Killing so, poor, poor cows with long horns that are just chewing grass. Grass, Dave yeah. Does ape shit murder on them. <laughs> he does. He does. Uh, also, there's the... <laughs> there's Ingve and Rakir trying to figure out how to get into to the remaining buildings. So with one, yeah, Rakir tried a penknife, tried to try to find his way in and stuff like that. Did not work. Works like a shake weight. No. Anyway, uh, yeah, so they move on to the next building. So we start to explore it. Uh, Ingbe sends a little friend to check things out, but he can only think, see things so far. Turns out there was a metal grate, metal landing, stairs that ran down. We're just all intrigued by this because the only way that we know metal is for crafting weapons and that's it. So, so this was so bizarre for us. So uh, as Ingbe's little friend, the little tunnel rat goes down, uh, there's just water. That's all that you can see is just water covering an expanse on the floor. Uh, and so we end up, Rakir suggesting that we send the Grubek down there to check. And after, you know, debate between Ingve and Rakir, because Ingve was said, look, he's going to bolt if he can. <laughs> so either that or whatever is down there is going to kill him. So yeah, yeah, it turns out. Dumbasses. Turned out, turned out the worst thing it, uh, that was down there was Rick here because, yeah, yeah, the Grubeck disappeared. Rick here went down to uh, investigate. Only one came back. So. Rick is Severus Snape. <laughs> Rick here oh is something. God, you oh, say. Oh, man. So we secure, we, uh, so while we're, you know, Tying up things with the Grubek between Rakir and um, uh, Ingbe. The others come back. They try the other buildings to get in. Dave barges his way in, uh, setting off an alarm. That's just something we've never heard before. Just shrieking, shrieking, shrieking. And then they find the source of it and stop it. And yeah things really get weird from, from there. We find another building, we explore it. Uh, descriptions of big metal trees and things like that. Rooms of boxes where people could, you know, comfortably sit or lie in and stuff like that. And it's, yeah, it's just totally, totally weird. But one of the coolest things is 
Azari finds a box. He opens it up the way Franks describe it. There's long uh, plant-like things in it that are cylindrical and brown in it and all that. So the, that was just fodder for memes after the show because it turns out it was a humidor that Azari finds. So boom. We are not in some kind of arcane calamity thing that, you know, that's like the sundering of the world. It was, but the world was the modern world. It was the 20th century or so. Yeah, I'll that a get, taxi cab garage. We did. A parking garage. Oh, yep. you, this is this a world where everything's just come back around. We've just yeah, been revealed. Apocalypse. Don't sound Re disappointed. Come on. Oh, yeah. Support, Carol. Yeah, Carol. Jesus. Like Cthulhu yeah, is, it, is it one that's been beaten to death a dozen times. So there. <laughs> Has it? I don't but know. It's this... my original Cthulhu. Is it? It's beaten to death. <laughs> yeah. it's a, I don't know. It, this is. Wait, it has me on my toes. What building they're in? That's right. They right. are in the old government warehouse where they store all the coffins for when wait. their civilians die. You know, like yeah, the one they found in Fulton, Indiana. Indiana. Yeah, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> so, how modern are we talking here? I was gonna say, are we talking like modern times, like these times? Are we talking like we're talking twentieth, twenty first century? Know, okay. uh, Carol, sounds like you're gonna have to start. Yeah, to yeah, it's just what? a cliche, Carol. Oh my God, we're in the apocalypse. Oh. In two weeks, you'll maybe figure out what hmm. uh, era you're in. Uh, but that too is uh, still out on Twitch in our archive and sans spaces it's actually coming along nicely uh after the show these guys are just going a mile or 100 miles an hour and uh, and he's I'm writing just... all the notes down to screw mm -hmm. over yeah he is um, that quick... what? that's why you like me that's why kyle likes to talk to us after i see yeah. mm -hmm. that's, why that's also why i join well. your twitch because then you start talking <laughs> about cred and i'm like is that what carol is thinks? That what that's great yeah, that's, carol, that's what this is a yeah, better so, idea than yeah. I have. Uh, yeah. Players so, always seem to have better ideas than the GMs. I don't know why that is. Or different ideas. And that and is I'm, a segue into the last game. Construction Zone, the Margoon Frank, campaign. Frank, 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 Frank. The Frank, 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 Frank. Uh, These guys have decided that Frank, uh, Frank. after the dragon burned the roadhouse down, they would move in, uh, take over the property, go ahead and rebuild thereby gaining a sense of income. What they did not take into account was the Roadhouse Guild, who has taken a special interest in it. So uh, Is one of them Patrick Swayze? Gary and... No, um, <laughs> that would be funny. Dalton, Dalton is Dalton. the uh, bounty hunter. Wait, did you seriously not put a pop culture reference to that? Yeah, Dalton. Yeah, he did. Dalton. Come on, man. Oh, Patrick Dalton. Swayze. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, use the character Watch name. the movie. <laughs> yeah. Watch Margu. Uh, Gary and Gertrude are twins. They work for the uh, Roadhouse Guild. They have been sent from Thornfield, the capital, to go ahead and investigate this. Uh, much to the dismay of copious little bitters, who was uh, dressed down frequently, oh, uh, he has discovered that the bureaucracy has taken a hold on the roadhouse and uh, certain forms, such as the HR slash six, have not been correctly filled out. Ergo, uh, they are on probation. Uh, also, thanks to the mouth of his brother, Robert of Zeppelin, uh, HR slash seven sexual harassment paperwork has been filled out a great deal. Uh, they have also come to find out that 70 plus adventurers have heard that the dragon is now dead. Ergo, it's time to go loot the cave. Uh, they had the bright idea that they would go loot the dragon's hoard and take all the money and everything would be kosher. They did not expect... Uh, competitors. Uh, they now have a shite load of competitors. Uh, they have trouble with the employment staff. They've got problems out the wazoo, and that doesn't even include the aberration released from the birth of the zonky hybrid cross of Leaf the Druid. They got a lot of problems in Margu, and they have, uh, I believe it was 27 days 
and it takes uh, six days, something. The math is there. Uh, they are on, yet again, a limited time frame, so uh, they got a long way to go and a short time to get there, and this is Smoking the Bandit too. So, folks, if you want a show with just a single family, three generations, Margu on Sundays is your best bet. Not this Sunday, because, of course, MurderHobocon.com yeah. is all day. Uh, Are you anyway, talking about the con with the murder hobos? I am talking about the con with the murder hobos, and that is our segue into our main topic today, convention gaming and etiquette. Kyle, you're taking uh, the helm on this one. It's all you. Guys, I have never been to a convention yet. I I am I am lost. Yeah, of course, Sunday. Until Sunday, as soon as I buy my badge, which sales end Thursday at sometime in the afternoon. Sometime in the afternoon. That's Eastern so definite. Time. Hey, you know what? You guys have had <laughs> two months to get your badge. I uh, can't help you. Buy it. You know what? Buy it tonight. Buy it tomorrow. Don't I wait tonight till Thursday, or tomorrow. Don't wait you, till Thursday. If you wait, man, some random appointed anymore. time on Thursday afternoon I, I'm Eastern time. Two ish. Two ish. Two ish. Two ish. Because uh, you know, also, my mother's two ish, actually. Uh, I did not know that. That would explain the yarmulke. Oh, that's your haircut. Never mind. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, I smell something burning from that, that side uh, of the. It's bacon. That would it's be a lot of bacon. Ass hair. I am in the garage. It's hot right now. Uh, speaking of hot and uncomfortable places, conventions. Right? Am I right? Am I right? I don't know. Have no, you been there? Really. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm debating Gen Con or Murder Hobo. And you say, why? Why just pick one? Go both. And I probably should. But I have two children who are bottomless pits. Uh, and I'd like to throw them into my bottomless pit which is an actual thing, not a metaphor for you sick pedophiles out there. Get it out of your head. We have sponsors, everybody. They they let me go with this stuff. Can you believe it? They, they know we aren't corporate shills. That's right. Yeah. That is right. I would never sell out anything uh, uh, for the wonderful... No? That joke... Yeah, okay. McDonald's? That joke, that joke yeah, just McDonald's. drifted. Yeah, yeah, that joke just went away. It absolutely did. Just like my soul. Anyway, like I said, money flies out of my pocket. I've got Gen Con on Sunday, the last day, $15. Or Murder Hobo Con, a badge for $15, <laughs> which I will certainly buy uh, uh, after this if I'm convinced. Guys, what should I do? Should I go online? Should I go in person? What kind of convention experience should I be expecting? Which Starting one? with Carol. Which one? What would you like to talk about, Carol? In person or online? Uh, either. Either? <laughs> Pick one. I've done Great, both. Great, Carol. Come on. You're, I'm handing you the ball. In person. Two hands. All right. How about it like? On the goal line. No, what no, am no, I no, expecting no. in person, Carol? Uh, lots of people. <laughs> That sounds horrible. lots of people. Uh, Do they at least shower and bathe? Depends on which con you go to. Not all of them. I mean, when I go when I go to OGC, I don't know so too too. I don't really know so too much there. But like when I go to the anime it's con, horrible. yeah, hmm? it's definitely there. In other words, uh, anime people stink. That's what Carol. That's, said. No! that's what I heard. Yeah. God, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just comparing cars. I don't know. I don't. Of course, maybe it's I don't have the greatest sense of smell either. I don't know so too much. Um, you know, it's just I don't know. It's said there's there's lots of people. The biggest thing I find that I have an issue with is sound. I mean, if you're in a room with a lot of other tables that are people gaming, having a great time, it tends to get loud in there. But still, you you know. Also, if your friends all go, I mean, you can't, I usually like speaking of the anime con, I usually am constantly bumping into friends and people I know and such, and it's just fantastic to see them. And that's one of the worst parts of this whole pandemic is that I haven't seen anybody, you know, I love the personal interaction. Although the Murder Hobo Con with the cameras and the mics and that, at that venue, that actually, you do get a bit of that, um, that where you don't get on like a Discord experience 
Yeah, but... can you tell me more about that uh, online stuff, David? I know you've been playing around with it a little bit. A little bit, but yeah, I mean, Dawn, my thoughts on virtual cons is I, yeah, I, w I would stick to virtual cons right now, but that's just me. But, um, but yeah, it's the, the experience of online cons versus the, the, you know, in-person cons. It's like comparing apples to oranges. They're just two different experiences. Unfortunately, the, the couple of experiences that I've had have been through Murder Hobo and they've been pretty limited. I mean, it's just, you know, one game that I'm sitting in with Frank. But uh, with this coming time, I didn't hurt at all. No, 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 no. It's on, the, that was just not, saying you're that repetitive wasn't... and boring. That's it. No. All you do is pop culture references. I've never <laughs> been to a big, bigger virtual online. We need to rectify before. this, and man. My, and my first experience was jumping into the game that Frank ran. And it was great. It was a great experience. It was one of. I mean, it was a lot of fun, aside from the snafu that we ran into after the, the game. If the fucker could have read, that would have been a <laughs> With the NDA, you know, so. Christ. Oh, man. So anyway, yeah. No, but it was a, it was a good experience. So and, and so, of course, I mean, virtual cons have become, you know, given our current state of affairs, I mean, became, yeah, it's the thing to do for, for someone like me um wow yep. so that's what i'm gonna go go into fatter so it looks more like me that's that's <laughs> my next i saw i got the bald head way. already but unlike cons that are that are virtual that are usually just zoom meetings and things like that you know you just agreed at a per, uh, specific time our experience is going to be much much more immersive i mean you're actually going to be on a server in a venue with other people so, I'm so sure, just yes. like frank has he's got the mobile app it's mobile too so you uh, can do that not recommend it's sketchy <laughs> it, it's still it's still kind of in a big work, work in progress you know. yeah no so, audio yeah and that's yeah. that's part of it that's that's, that's a bad part of it so but um but yeah i mean I'm not a seasoned con goer for D&D because I'm relatively new to all this, but, you know, the couple of experiences that I had with in-person cons, I mean, they were great. Yeah, I mean, they're great experiences that I can't. Of course, my experience is on a local level for a charity thing. It was like a three-day event, and I mean, it was great. It was awesome. Not crowded or anything like that. I can't imagine what it would be like at a at a in-person convention like uh -huh. Gen Con. All right, so. I can, I can, I mean, I've been there, so I can give you a clue. It's, it's funny because you think with sixty thousand people as normal mm -hmm. this year, they're having it because of the pandemic, right? So stop that, Frank. All right, so <laughs> you would think that it's just wall to wall people and you couldn't move. Well, Gen Con is a huge. It's the venue is so much bigger than you would expect. So everybody tends to spread around and it's it's not, I find other than maybe the vendor room opening, yeah. the vendor room at opening, which I avoid like the plague. Uh, I, it, for the most part, I can walk around, I can walk around there pretty freely. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people, but it's, it's great because you get to meet and personally interact with a lot of people. I can't do hugs in an online con. But I can there, so and I, I like hugging people. You can dance, I hear at the murder hobo. You can dance you at can the murder dance hobo. The murder hobo God, I can hug my can husband, that. I guess, if I really wanted hugs. But I mean, but it's I always I like you know what. Truth be told, too, when you go for the more the the in person one, it's also like being on It's like you're on vacation too. Too, I mean, especially if you stay. Most cons, most people will stay at a hotel by the con. Uh, just because it's a lot easier. Um, most of the time, too, you're coming from a distance that's, you know, it's it's not convenient to just stay at home. A few lucky people can actually do that. But I found even the cons were an hour, hour away at night. I just want to roll into my hotel room bed and crash and be up half the night gaming. So 
Uh, that's another difference. As I was gonna say, that's that's a, in some ways that's a pro, but it's con is the money involved. Of course, you have to pay for a hotel, and if you're in Indianapolis, you have to pay a pretty pretty penny to get a hotel in downtown Indy. It's stay in Lebanon, stay in Lebanon, folks, and Not then get 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 what? Or get Bloomington. It. Bloomington then, is a nice drive. Yeah, or four sixty five at the airport. Just take a lift in. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so actually. A shitload of money. Oh, wait, no, don't do 465 because 70 West is closed. Oh, actually, yeah. is yes, it still? 65 and 70 is closed right now. Hasn't it? So it's nasty. Wasn't downtown. it closed like two years ago or something, too? They're building a new, I think it's five lane because we were just down there a few weeks ago. But mm-hmm. the thing yeah. of it, but the thing, I mean, my plan was actually, I think we're going to cancel our trip because it's just not enough. Sorry, Gen Con. This is not <gasps> enough for us to do. It's just not worth the money. It not sucks. enough to see your wonderful friends of Murder Hobo it, it in is. person? I want to, but Frank says he's not going to If be you're not afraid not of COVID, I give the biggest of hugs. I'm not I've afraid. broken <laughs> bones. I'm going to Reapercorn, which is in person. So... Uh, I'm just oh, well, okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. But yeah. but this, but I mean, that's that's also going for, you know, I'm going there. I'm gonna enter the mini contest. There's there's an on. Yeah, there's a in person con I'm getting to, and I oh, can't yeah. wait to meet all these people in person so that uh, I watch on the streams and stuff. <laughs> that's the thing is meeting people in person. It's just it's it's just I think it's way cooler than doing it via Discord. But the, the pro pro is the pro is you meet people. The con is you got to pay for it. Right. And one of the things that Carol just did was was I mean extremely relevant. I mean you got to pick where your heart lies. You know, yeah. Carol's is mini painting, so of well, course Re- Reaper Con's going to win. Yeah. No, well it didn't have to. I was if anything I made. But still... what is your state of affairs now? You're starting a mini stream. Hey, hey she's so. married, David. Don't don't say that. Oh, uh, come, well, on. I oh mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, baby. <laughs> well, Dave, the thing of it is, I do commissions and even more than, I mean, yeah, I can go there and network. That's the other thing. You really can network right, exactly. in person con. I, I'm not really sure you can as well, you know, on a, you can't like just bypass people in the halls. Oh, ReaperCon will make it real, it has some really nice things where you can interact with each other. They actually have, they have the, you know, the con ribbons that people put on their badges. Those are huh? so stupid. Well, I hate those things. I've got a stack oh, that, of those from but you. Frank. have them. <laughs> that Frank makes them. That's what them. he does. That's the best part. <laughs> Frank makes them. Actually, if you want, Frank, you should send me some and I'll bring them, I'll bring them to that con because I, people collect ribbons. Them. Yeah, I'm actually all out of them. Oh, you are? I was wondering sure. what the hell those things were for when they were sent yeah, to what me. My are, care package so, was sent to me. I was like, so people will so people will put them on their badges. And like at okay. some of the cons, Gen Con for one, Reaper Con for another, they'll collect them. I mean, they'll they'll have basically a a, a, a chain of them or just because they're all stuck at the top. So oh, just I could just sticking see them on top of each other. <laughs> and they'll be like dragging on the floor off their badge. And they, they go, at ReaperCon, it's, it's, it's apparently their people are really avid collectors of them. Wow. So people like me, con goers, it used to just be Reaper that would do it. I'm it's- muted, dang it, Carol. I'm trying to <laughs> cut you off. I got a private message from Frank. Cut her off. To tell you, shut up. No, I'm mean, not six eight. He used those exact <laughs> words. God. Why don't you okay, just right, freaking right, right. put no, it? No, because there would have been profanity in it. <laughs> I don't fucking care. How the about that? Oh my, oh my god. god. But the point, but the watch point. your language. Children watch this. My children. Bullshit. Children don't watch fucking that. curse out here. Bullshit. There's another one. No, so let's cut across here. We are talking... gonna, basically, I was just going with the interaction and the right. networking, and that was a way to network. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, how's that going to work uh, 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 with Topia with this Sunday? And I'm not talking this to you, Carol. About... I'm talking to Frank this time. Me? Uh, yeah. Okay. It turns uh, out you're actually not on the show. You're not in a private room where we can't see you. Uh, that's true. Uh, okay, folks. Uh, long story. Done. Short, fucked up, Frank. When, when we decided to go with Murder Hobo Con, uh, as David pointed out, uh, a lot of us have had experiences in virtual cons, and they were Zoom meetings. That's all they were. Uh, when I went to uh, Spawn of Cyclops Con, I saw something that was different. 
uh, something that I thought we should capitalize on. Uh, so kudos to those guys. We've taken it to the next level. We've gone with a virtual world that you can actually dork around in. I'm going to be blunt. Every person we've shown this to has been amazed. Okay, and, and I'm not breaking my arm, patting myself on the back. What we've yes, done is. is created a you can't very see his other arm. It's large, in a cast. That's right. A very large thing. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff to do. I mean, big things. Uh, so there, there's something for everybody. Carol likes to network. I agree. When you go to in-person cons, that's what you do. As a content creator, I like to hear people who have actually read my products, run my products, or played in my products while I did it. I like their feedback, good and bad. With our venue, you can see, you can speak, you can move about freely. Uh, you can sit around a campfire, listen to it crackle all by yourself, or sit around with your friends and discuss what you've done. It is an immersive and interactive environment. It, and they, the folks over at Topia have done a great job. The only concern they have is you don't talk about Topia outside of Topia because I will be the first person to tell you it is a difficult concept to understand. Go to tinyurl.com slash con preview. We'll go ahead and tweet that out again. Go look at it. That world is about yay big. Our venue is way bigger. Uh, and that, I think, is going to give you the real con experience. It's also going to give you the online experience so that uh, you don't get some asshole uh, blubbering COVID all over you. Folks at home, if you have COVID, you can attend. That's fine. You really should get vaccinated. Uh, but uh, we've got the games. Uh, we've got the interactive activities. Got two bands, a comedian. Sit around a campfire, enjoy it. Sit around the campfire with your friends and enjoy it. Doesn't matter. It's immersive without the smell uh, of larger conventions. Uh, Y'all keep mentioning that. Don't it really I better? still don't know what he's talking about because honestly, I don't I, I know so too a few much. person conventions, and every once in a while at my table, it's clear that somebody oh, has spent all night. You're right. You get it. There, there's some people, I guess, also that are allergic to if it. If you're listening, you know, yeah, that would be a good idea. Three day con would be a set. <laughs> three day con. There you go. You know, oh my god, that would probably be probably going. No, do not apply it directly to skin. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Do not inhale it. No, they need to make a product that you can carry around. You know, uh, mace would be my personal choice. <laughs> uh, but the nice thing about I go with bear mace. Yeah, bear mace and flagpoles. Uh, yeah. For those of you who follow the Phil Bar RPG account, if you want a lot of political detriment, now you keep it on there. Uh, but the important thing about the in-person cons is the networking. Okay, we are a community. You got to go with that. What we're doing on Sunday, same thing, only it's virtually. And I'm not shitting you. It's something special. Uh, I was amazed the first time I saw it. These guys were amazed the first time they saw it. Everybody else was too. Uh, Five bucks all day long. Cool. And so, yeah, real speaker. quick, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Real quick, though. So, around the table here, what cool things am I going to see at any old con in general? What specifically am I seeing at the Murder Hobo Con? Uh, I'm going to be interacting. I'm going to be socializing. I get to walk around and walk up to people and dance in their face, whether they approve it or not. And they don't have to smell my ass, which I haven't scrubbed in 17 years. Am I 16 years old? And how have I not scrubbed it in 17? I'll let you figure it out. Also, <laughs> damn, that's a great beard for that balding 16-year-old. 16-year-old, my speaking of my ass there. Cosplayers. You're going to meet cosplayers in person. Ooh. People who Do we have really, cosplayers? Really, Gen Con has... Uh, their parade of heroes. Oh yeah, yeah, they yeah. And they also have a, an area right next to the convention hall where the cosplayers will line up, allow you to take their picture, be respectful, okay? Don't be an asshole about it. These people put in a lot of time and effort. Uh, they deserve some respect. So show them. Cons respect. Consent, 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 Always consent. Always ask before you take their picture. 
Or yeah, don't don't do the screenshot thing. Ask them don't, first, and ask anyone yeah, you encounter. To touch. You know, do not try to touch. Do not touch. Yeah, That's do not touch. And people do. It, it's it can be very tough. Mostly to huggers. Huggers touch. Yeah. A lot. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at these big arms. They're made for hugging. Yeah. I don't mind. Con crud, That's yeah. true. If yeah. you go to an in-person con, you definitely can get con crud. I'm actually I know I have con crud. I'm. I can't catch anything. That's because you have children. <laughs> you have already con. caught it all. Up. I have children. <laughs> I I play on terrible uh, horns that kids are sick on. Oh, and they I forgot the about that aspect I'm of your God, job. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh that's my right. God. Yeah. I was an I was a mortician and undertaker, dude, and I thought that was a hazardous job. You just took no, the cake. Yeah, he, he wins. I mean, I've been wins. on the CDC website I've just to PPE. see how you treat infectious you know. diseases. <laughs> I mean, the only the only thing maybe worse is being a teacher because you well, the first year you teach you catch everything, and then after that your immune system it builds up and then it's not so bad. I don't know a teacher who plays the kids. In no, school, but so they I... get yeah. But no, my my mother in law <laughs> was a teacher in a for a little little for like infants practically. You have to go to OnlyFans for that. How long that's that right. Been in there, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's Gen Con for you. Uh, uh, cosplayers, we have some at our own Murder Hobo. Do Con. we? We do. No, not. we do not. I, I tried. You lied to me, but that's okay. No, I, I tried. I tried, like, tried. Uh, to get some cosplayers in there. I thought those that make their own costumes could go ahead and afford us a look into their craft. Uh, well, cosplay. luckily, uh, I will actually be doing that. Uh, if I walk up to you, you can ask me about my cosplay. Uh, it is a werewolf, uh, not during his time of the month. Oh, so... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It, wow. it, will, it will be great. There'll wow. be like a little bit more hair up here, a little bit more down there, but uh, it's all arts and art, really, and I have to talk about that later. What else am I going to run into at a convention? A uh, convention? Maybe something that's actually at our convention. I don't oh, know. Vendors. I mean, games, vendors. Yeah, there we, go. we have vendors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, we uh, tried. Yeah, the, uh, the con floor at Gen Con, massive. I, oh I my mean, God! Massive. I can't. It, it's, I can't believe how big it is. Yeah, it, it is. It is an unbelievable. I, I highly recommend everybody go to Gen Con at least once. Once. Sit yeah. out of the stampede at 10 a.m. when those doors open. Maybe go up on level two or level three and watch it. Watch. And then <laughs> one time, get in that stampede. And, no. And try and be a, never a chess right off the bat. Uh, no, <laughs> not on your life. If you I have small children, take them with you to the yeah, stampede. No, they, they, the stampede is not for children. Uh, the second and third floor, though, is great to watch that. Uh, but the the floor is is it's got a plethora of different things. It's got your vendors. It's got it's got your dice. It's got your games. It's got your uh, equipment. It's got your costumes, and it has the artists' gallery. Uh, for us old guys who grew up. Uh, on uh, Errol Otis and those folks, uh, they are there. Uh, I, I mean, you get to meet your childhood heroes. I highly recommend uh, finding Margaret Weiss uh, from Dragonlance. She is super. She is just the nicest person you'll ever meet. She enjoys meeting fans. Uh, but all the other artists, all the other authors are Larry, she also carries Larry a Elmore. 22. Larry Elmore is awesome. Yeah. And I get to. He carries a 38 special. Uh, these are COVID times. They will shoot you. I don't you think they're close. going. He, he, I just yeah, warned I them. If you're they're out not, of their They're not going to be there this year. They're not hands. there this year. Uh, I have one of Larry. Okay. Well, Larry's there you go. Paddle. They're not going to shoot anyone this but year. But Larry, heard. I, have, I have an autographed picture of that famous plate from the second edition handbook, which has the, the adventures with the small dragon and the tiny little box of treasure that's underneath. <laughs> I love that picture so much. Yeah, so, artists, so what kind of vendors do we, do we have, have more vendors other Marvel? than like I know I technically am a vendor. Uh, yes, we the have, painting thing. I have a store. We have three right do we now. Have, if I get is, is D going to be there? I don't think she's no. Uh, no. 
No. It, it doesn't work on. Uh, you pointed at no, art, and I was like, no, oh, is no, that, no, that, that is behind official you? D&D art from the box, man. The, oh, is that official? The expert. To be honest. Yeah, that's the expert box. Uh, again, as I said, I'm 38. I don't know anything about original D&D. It was the greatest moment in history. Uh, <laughs> vendors, I, you, can, you can get full plate armor there. You can get smart ass t shirts there. You can get uh, Exploding Kitties game there. You can oh, what, at Gen Ch- Con? Yeah, at Chessex. Yeah. You, you, Chessex has, I, I think, three uh, stops again. They have this ginormous container, uh, and you can take like a pitcher for 25 bucks, just dig it in. Throw that's in cool. a bag, and that is that's just a great value. You can also do pick and choose. They have full sets available. Uh, you've got card games, miniatures. Uh, Christ, Carol, what what don't Dwarven they Forge? They got Dwarven. They got Dwarven Forge. Watch the documentary ad. and then go to the con. That would be awesome. Yeah. So, they got all right. So, and they got Adventure Sense. Mm-hmm. And they have a. That, they do stuff. have our yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Adventure oh, yeah. I mean, no, they got tons of mini games. They, they got tons of board us, games. Yeah, as I said, there's also. Oh, uh, chat says I also recommend Origins Game Fair. I know that's a good mm-hmm. con, too. I've never been, so. That's over in Ohio. Can't like to. We're, we're, so, Ohio's fortunately, not bad. Origins, I know, is Other a really Ohio. good con. I know, and I know plenty of people have gone. I just haven't been one of them. If uh, if Gen Con's the granddaddy of them all, Origins is the grandmom because I think it's yeah, that's mind. a that's a good. I think that's a very fair uh, comparison. Yeah, fuck Comic Con. It's a top that's tier. <laughs> True debt. That nah, Game Cons are way great. Game Cons better than Comic Cons for sure. But Origins, I, I think, was the second one in, so it's been around yeah. forever. Real quick games we're having a bunch of games at murder hobo con conventions you sign up for games uh these are run by individuals and not necessarily a set uh group of people so there are house rules that they have that you will follow uh preferably uh and not everything goes your way so uh Guys, remember that as we're playing. Do we have anything other than D and D happening at Murder Hobo? Is uh, Troika on Troika. the table there? Troika's yes. on there. Cyberpunk Troika. Traveler. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got Against the Giants revisited in Five E. Uh, we mm-hmm. also have a seminar of uh, Cyber. Folks, I think Cyberpunk. I, I got a lot of things rattling around in my head but you can't uh, we, we've yeah. got yeah. Uh, some lovely ladies one from italy one from uh belgium uh, they will be doing a seminar on their uh own gaming system uh similar to cyberpunk i believe uh they'll be there uh if you can swing by it's a seminar so it's open you get to ask uh, questions and you get to talk to them personally but john's doing traveler or cyberpunk uh, that's that's cool. Yeah, we, nice. we, we've got a lot. We don't have any Pathfinder. We don't have any original D and D. So if I'm gonna go there. SmackDown because I, I I contact them and said, yeah, I'll put a game in for Pathfinder. They did not. Uh, <sighs> they did not. So, News for you, John. John. <laughs> yep, John. Yep. All right, guys. That's the end of the show tonight. Uh, as we keep saying and as we'll keep repeating all night, Murder Hobo Con. Buy your badges before Thursday at two ish. Eastern time. If you want to show up, it's for a good cause. We're killing cancer uh, in a murder hobo sort of way. Uh, you're going to have lots of fun. You're going to see some stuff. You're going to try a cool new thing that I can't talk about because my internet is terrible, but it does work for me on occasion. Uh, and you're going to do a based, con like so that. It might actually work better for it. Uh-huh. Ooh, yeah, there we're, you go. We're, we're so, a two bucks upgrade on everybody. So real quick, round the table, final thoughts. Uh, I'm not going to start with Carol because that'll go long. So <laughs> let's go with David. Real quick, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Anything you want to add? Virtual cons. I mean, what's not to like about Murder Hobo Con? Come on. I mean, it's a virtual venue. You, you can't beat it. So, it's, yeah, it's the first time something like this has been done. So, ish. So, yeah, that'll be good. That's right. Screw Gen Con. 
I'm putting my money towards Murder Hobo Con. <laughs> Frank, final thoughts, real quick. Uh, Unless I'm making a terrible snake. Don't don't wait till Thursday, folks. I've got there's yeah. a lot of background <laughs> stuff that I have to do in order to get it all done by Sunday. Please, if you're if you're thinking about coming, buy your tickets sooner than later. Because after I shut it down, I can't even sneak people through the back door. So buy your tickets either tonight or tomorrow. Don't wait till Thursday if you're interested. If you aren't, we are a first year con. We understand that. There's a lot of risk involved. But for five bucks, all proceeds go to uh, uh, the American Cancer Society after we pay the bills. And so far, I've kept the bills really small. So all That's that right. money's going to American Cancer Society. We aren't keeping jack shit. Plus, you know, I might have some swag. Might have some dice. Oh, oh, might have some can oh, koozies. Oh. Might have some dice jails. Might have some stuff. And we've got a shitload of door prizes uh, from our wonderful sponsors. That's my final thought. That's the final thought. Think next year, your $5 will probably go to pay to someone to actually do this instead of having Frank do it. And that's less money that to go to answers. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, Carol, final thoughts. Make it quick because you're a wonderful person. What? It makes literally today. Come on, come on let's go. one minute over. On. So, <laughs> oh, for fun, yeah. Well, you started me at one minute over. All right, well, um, come to the con. I mean, there's still there's More plenty of games, plenty of games to play. Um, hey, I'll be there. You can come say hi to me Give her a and everyone hug. else. Give her a uh, hug. I will do virtual hugs. Uh, I love to, you know, love to meet you guys. Uh, anybody out there who watches this or Whatever, love to hear your feed. Hey, I, I will listen to feedback, by the way. So, she's um, the only one. Yep, I'm the only one. Come visit my sir. <laughs> Chat just said, I'm going there just for, for Carol. Thank you. I appreciate it. Suck uh, <laughs> That's Heidi. I don't know. It's, it's all, no, it's not. A, no, because Heidi's under Heidi Dobson. Uh, <laughs> this is non net tag is elementary. I don't know. I, That's definitely Heidi. That Screw you, Heidi. Heidi. We're going to pretend that's you, Amy. <laughs> say terrible Heidi is going to be at the con. So if you ever want to meet the mysterious oh, Heidi, she is going to be there. You can go up to Heidi and tell her, fuck Kyle you. says, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll be that's like, so ah, ah, and then she'll no, cry later no, on. No, no. It, so many people. Anyway, guys, that is our show tonight between the Rolls Murder Hobo Con. Guys, remember, you can follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archives. You can buy our cool stuff over at the store. Talk to us on Discord or hit us up to do a one-shot. This Thursday, we do have Cacophony, or are we doing a rerun there, Frank? We got a Cacophony. We're doing a real Cacophony, doing yeah. Cacophony. Cacophony Don't say yes. Of life on the horizon. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, my gosh. Is Frank lightening his load? No, Probably he's gonna not, put guys. something we'll, we'll else in out. there. He's gonna we're put running, something we're else running in towards there. towards the end of the story. That's why. All right. <laughs> we are going to uh, be skipping out. Uh, there is no one shot this Saturday to prepare for the multitudes of wonderful things happening on Sunday, uh, of which we will uh, entertain you all the following Tuesday with that between the rolls. But enough about that, guys. Thank our wonderful sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice. Adventure Sense, Maddox, uh, Maddox, three three three, but not Matt. Yeah, oh, it's M A D T H three three three. Maddox that would list. explain why I saw those terrible. A... It, it was worse than OnlyFans, to be honest. So go to Twitch, no, not Twitch, Twitter, and click on the link that uh, uh, Frank he's has a, put up. So it's a great up. guy too. It's a, he's actually a friend of mine. I've met through the whole mini painting community. So he's. <clears throat> Well, according to Google, he is not. A <laughs> he is a very voluptuous woman mm. uh, with a very large. No, no, heart. I've I, I've I've seen his there. picture. Like I said, clink the link, uh, guys. Wave at the camera. Say good night. Good, good night. night. We'll see you all Sunday. We're out. Yep. Yep. Yep, we're deaf as posts, and I'm doing the uh, advertisement. I, I made the joke that you got rid of vaccines and the internet, because learning. It's fundamental. <laughs>